My name's Paddy Bush. I'm a musician and a musical instrument maker. And I've been listening to and playing Malagasy music for many years. I've been invited to Madagascar to take part in a most extraordinary ceremony. It's a party for a dead man. It's not like an Irish wake, because this dead man's been dead for about 25 years, and he died in his mid-40s under very sad circumstances. He may be dead, but he's a Razan. He's one of the ancestors, and this makes him very special. He was an exceptional musician. He's been called the Robert Johnson of Madagascar, the Charlie Parker of Madagascar. He had no first name. He was simply known as Rakudzafi of Ambui Pasque. Ever since I heard the first note of a recording from his famous instrument, I've considered him my mentor but you can't find out anything about him. Even though he's Madagascar's most revered traditional musician, there are very few photos of him. The only thing that seems to remain are his recordings and a lot of stories about his death. <laughs> and Tamanarivo, the capital. It's the starting and ending place of all journeys in Madagascar. We're quite high, over 3,000 feet. It's very busy. It's a bit dirty. It's a bit dangerous. It's extremely friendly. In fact, it's a mixture of all sorts of things. I'm here to try and find anything of Rakut Zafi. People, places, photos, objects or instruments. It's not as easy as it sounds. Madagascar has only recently opened its doors to the outside world. In fact, about six years ago. I was here three years ago and there's been a lot of changes. The population has practically doubled Certainly, the population of motor cars has nearly trebled. It's a lot poorer than things used to be. The political situation is extremely difficult. Governments change all the time. I was surprised how difficult it was to find real traditional Malagasy music in the early 90s. Artists like George Michael and Michael Jackson seem to be everywhere. But today, it feels different. There's a real revival of interest in Rakut Zafi's music all over the country. His instrument was a valley, the traditional instrument of Madagascar. It's a bamboo tube, and on the outside of it, there are strings stretched down. Strings are made from the individual filaments of bicycle brake cable. It's very cheap, and it lasts a very long time. Underneath the strings, there are little pieces of calabash gourd, which act as bridges so that the strings can be tuned. In many ways, the valley is the symbol of Madagascar. In fact, for the Malagasy, it's as much a symbol of their country as the Irish harp is for the Irish. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. 
Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs that connect you to the world.